Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com. Acura says it tuned the new MDX at Germany's famous Nürburgring Raceway. Probably the only handling you're going to do with it, though, is when a loose ball rolls into the way from your kid's soccer practice. Still, this is Acura's best-selling SUV. It's been completely redesigned. We're at the 2013 New York International Auto Show to take a look at what's changed. Overall length has increased about two inches and the wheelbase is a little bit longer, but the new MDX is a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter than before. Acura says it's 17% more aerodynamic than the last MDX. I think it's also 17% more forgettable. I mean, seriously, this thing looks a lot like the smaller RDX from Acura, but really doesn't set anything on fire when it comes to new styling for the brand. Uh, Acura says it follows an executive aero sculpture theme with Honda's Earth Dream driving technology and Acura Jewel Eye LED headlights. Seriously, dude, they spend way too much time coming up with this stuff. Cabin styling also sort of similar to that RDX with uh, contours around the dashboard that kind of plunge into this center control panel here. Uh, similar to the Honda Accord, Acura's Honda's luxury division, there's a touchscreen here um, that clears up some of the buttons along the center stack. Uh, it's got haptic feedback going on. Um, takes some controls and actually takes them longer to use, which is kind of annoying. Things like the heated seat, now you got to go to this separate screen and dial it up uh, instead of there being a physical button there. Uh, as far as room, lots of horizontal room here. I've got plenty of room to spread out. Um, some drivers, taller ones, might find that leg room forward and backward could be a little bit more. I'm about six feet tall and I'm sitting with the seat all the way back to drive comfortably. Second row space, pretty good here. Uh, the seat sits a little bit low to the ground, but I have good leg room and excellent headroom seat moves forward and backward. It also reclines a few degrees. Now, Acura says third row access has been improved a great deal thanks to new suspension packaging, which makes the step-in area lower. It also gives you a little bit wider access point to get in. Um, there's also a new feature here, essentially a one-touch walk-in feature that power moves the third row forward, or sorry, the second row forward. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Third row space remains really tight though. Uh, you're gonna wanna negotiate more room from your second row passengers if you're of any size at all sitting back here. Parents are probably gonna wanna keep the third row just for kids only. Acura makes a big deal out of the MDX's improvements to handling and driving refinement, but we're gonna have to get behind the wheel to give you our take on that. Stay tuned for more information closer to this car's on sale date this summer.